Today I'm going to show you how to make babushka propagation pots. It's pots within pots within pots. It's a great technique that allows you to grow more in a tiny space and harvest really easily. To get started, you have a good propagation mix and we're just going to add a little bit in the bottom, enough soil to bring up this pot to the level of this layer here. Once that's happened, nestle it in and fill in around those edges. Once you've filled it around halfway, make sure you pack it in so it's sitting really quite firmly in there so it's creating a very supportive structure to plant into. So, we've got the first layer in, we're going to put the next pot in and we're going to take a little bit out, pop it inside and bring it back down to this nice shared level. And then we can fill all those gaps in now. We're going to use a butter knife to pop that soil down to the very bottom so there's no big fluffy air gaps in there. Make sure you can see the top layer of the rings of each pot because that will tell you where to plant. The fun bit, you get to get all your cuttings and pop them in. We start in the outer layer first and just work your way around. And you can see you don't have to be that gentle with them either because they're hardwood cuttings. They can go right in, no worries. Do, 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 do. Once you've done that outer layer, simply move in to the next pot size and keep going. You hop on into the middle pot and I'm putting something different in here just to keep, keep it interesting. I've just planted rosemary and now I'm putting a few geraniums in because they're actually wonderful plants. Some call them old-fashioned. I just call them hardy, awesome things. <laughs> Great. So now look at this. You've got one, two, three little mini gardens in there with around 30 different plants. Now that we're all planted and watered, we can actually put on an optional greenhouse on top of the pots. All you need to do this is two bits of firm wire and you tuck them on the inside of the pot and push them down. And the second one you do so it's nice and crossed over. Then you get a recycled plastic bag, pop it over and just use a little bit of string to tie that down. What this is doing, as you can see, is it's acting as a little uh, hothouse to help those cuttings strike their roots quicker. After a few hours, you'll see lots of condensation build up on the inside of the plastic bag. That means there's enough moisture in there and you don't have to irrigate every day. As soon as you see it dry out, that's when you need to water. The other great thing you should know about this technique is that there's a nifty little trick you can do to actually harvest the mature cuttings. Check out this little one. If we pretend they're all developed, we can pull out that middle pot and you can see that it's nice and shaped. And when there's root systems, you'll be able to see how much root development has occurred, which is a really nice way to see if they're ready to harvest. Then using a trusty butter knife, you can go through and just gently slice the root in between each plant really easily and lever it out and pop it into the ground or a bigger pot of its own.